match was big defensive match. Both teams were struggling to score points and and just digging each other up. Everybody had a good game plan defensively, and uh, you know we traded sets and then they won two two point sets at the third and fourth, and so it was it was close. And um, you know we had a couple of breakdowns at the end of each of those sets that were costly. So we got to take uh, better care of the ball in big moments. But you know I think we know that we can we can do it. These last couple games, as you guys kind of wind down to the end of the se regular season, what do you want to see from your team to feel confident, not about just this year, but going into yeah. seasons after this? Well, we got a lot more volleyball to play, and uh, and we want some wins. And you know, nothing has changed about how we see ourselves, or you know, what we're trying to do within the conference. And you know, we're we're you know we are where we are, but you know, we've got opportunities here, and so uh, we've been. Uh, we're tomorrow is. Um, you know, we're finishing a six-match stretch of just a brutal schedule, and which isn't an excuse, but it is what it is. And so, you know, we know that we were going into this, we knew it was going to be tough. And, um, you know, what we want is to come out on the other side still feeling like we're connected and feeling like we'll still fight for each other and, and play hard. And, and if we do that, we're going to finish the season strong. How difficult is this, the short uh, short road trip, but you know, for today and on Saturday, getting both of these two matches in? Yeah, this is this is a difficult one because um, of how we're traveling. You know, we've been chartering a lot this year, but these two trips were not, and and so um, you know, we're going to take a bus to, to Oklahoma and and then come back and have basically half a day to get ready to, to get out to Morgantown. So, uh, quick turnaround, but you know, we're in the second half of conference, so that makes it a little easier. There's there's not as much prep, you know. We know what we're up against, as opposed to doing it for the first time with them. So, um, I think we'll be fine. But it, it is a little bit of an awkward swing here. You mentioned that brutal stretch uh, run through the schedule here. Uh, what has your team taken away from that in the the losses and the win in the that entire kind of concept? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. I think you'd have to you get a better answer from the players. But I think for us, you know, we we see what we're up against. We see what the top end of, of not just the Big 12, but nationally looks like. And, you know, for us to get in there, whether we're at home or on the road, and just fight and and um, give ourselves chances to win win sets and, and extend matches, that's the biggest piece right now. And, um, you know, I hope that they're looking at themselves and saying that they're not as far away as they as the perception might be. You know, I think they, they really are pretty close. And, you know, we got to come up with some offense here and there and, and take care of some, some big points at the end of sets and, and just, you know, have some – a little better serving at times, and you know, just little things here and there. But collectively, uh, we're still a really good team, and and we're, um, you know, I think we've played the best of the best, and and we're going to be better off because of it. Well, I'm sure you think that all of the Big 12 teams should make the NCAA tournament. Uh, realistically, what do you think the the margin's going to be for getting teams in? Uh, I think um, I think you got three or four that are pretty in pretty good shape. I think beyond that, it becomes just where how everybody finishes and and what kind of boost to their RPI they can gain and, and who they beat as we as we go down the stretch. You know, once you get to this late in the season, it's harder and harder to move the needle, you know, because of the way the, the system is set up. But um, if you're in the top half of the Big 12, you're in good shape. So that's uh, obviously what we're shooting for. You talk about kind of what you need to do to compete with teams that are at the higher end of the Big 12, higher end nationally. It's just those kind of small little things. Is that just a practice thing, you know, tightening up those loose little things, or do you have to get, you know, more of the basics down to get to that point? Um, it, it's a lot of things. Some of it is talent. Some of it is is just um, how you handle individual moments and and how much you trust yourself and what your confidence is like. Some of it is experience, and, and some of it is just grit, you know. And, you know, that's – that's the biggest part, you know. The, everybody in this conference knows how to play the game. There's, there's, there's not, you know, we're not reteaching volleyball just because we're getting ready to play, you know, Oklahoma or Texas or whoever. You know, we we know who we are, and you know, you got to execute it. But the better teams you play, they're they're talented, and, and it becomes harder and harder to do that. Coach, ever since she came back, Alex Kirby's been averaging <sighs> ten assists per set. How has she been controlling the tempo of the offense, and what do you think that she can really? really work on and improve on this week? Yeah, I've been really happy with Alex this year. You know, we throw a lot at her every every match, you know, and um, it, she she's so good to coach and play with, but, 
you know, she's got this good combination of being able to handle a game plan and, and think through the point, but she's also really emotional and she really plays off feel and, and just wants to get out there with her teammates and, and battle together. And so, um, you know, she's, she's really open that way and, and she just wants that connection. And so, you know, as we go through the season, we've seen her game just continue to get better and better. And we knew this with her being a first year starter coming off of last year playing behind Missy. And then she had her setback with her injury early on. And so you know, I, I feel for her because I know she feels like she's been playing catch up all season. But I think we as a team look at her and say, yeah, you're, you're doing a pretty darn good job. And Allison was a little under the weather last week. How did you see the other middles really step up and really help mm -hmm. at the net? Yeah, you know, we went with Caddy in the beginning. We just liked her size and, and the matchup that way. I thought she, she did a good job. We brought in KJ about halfway through, and, and she gave us that spark uh, athletically as well. And so, you know, I think at this point in the season, we've got three middles that are all pretty even and can help us in different ways. So, you know, when, uh, you know, Allison wasn't 100%, but I think we, we uh, picked it up for her.